Master is excellent. It is very hard for people to see where they're going to land it. A lot of times as a golf pro, you'll put something down, but going through a hoop, that really enlightens the whole idea of you are point A, you have to land it at point B to get to point C, which is the hole. This really simplifies the whole process. All right, Matt, so here we are on the chipping green, and in chipping, the reason we have these hoops is because we have them set up perfectly. If we go through that hoop, it's going to land and roll perfect distance because you did pick a 56. You could pick a 60, you could pick a 9 iron, whatever you want, but you chose a 56, which is great. So go ahead and set up. You want to go ahead and let your wrists move, relax your elbows, relax your shoulders. That's a great stance. Okay, and remember, tempo, tick, tock. First uh, time I stepped up, uh, I know a big thing is with uh, direction, is aiming, you know, what, where you want your chip shot to go. Um, a big thing for beginners with, uh, with the chip masters, it, it allows them to chip to a spot every time. Um, it's not something that they have to pick out of the green or something, it's just it's a solid image there in their mind. Okay Austin, today we got the chip master pretty close to us. We're going to do more of a bump and run shot, yeah. which we want the ball to land and then roll out. Okay, go ahead with your nice tempo. You know, I thought that was very good with the with the hoops being above and seeing where the landing spot was, where you really had to focus on getting to and dropping through the hoop. Not so much focusing on the landing point, but the height and where your ball has to be for in order for it to sit soft and roll up close to the hole. 